Hi everyone, it's Janelle with Hustling Hotties and the host of the Big Dreamer series. I am with Susie Agalopoulos, influencer and travel blogger and personal branding coach. How are you, Susie? I'm good, how are you? I am wonderful. Susie, tell me about your business. Well, uh, there's a few parts of it, but basically I am a travel blogger. I gallivant around the world and collect information and give it to other people. Um, I am a personal branding coach, um, so I help people do exactly what I did with my travel blogging and influencer business. Nice, That's nice. Great. I love yeah. it. So what strategies did you use to this, make this amazing business? Well, I used a few. Uh, okay, so most importantly, mindset. Um, I really had to get my mindset right to really truly believe that I could accomplish anything, even if it was something crazy like becoming a travel blogger and building a huge following and, and living this sort of, you know, dream online. Those are things that you look on Instagram and you're like, how, who, those people must be special. You know, those people, they, they must have known someone, you know, and uh, I just, I really built the mindset, I can do this. I, I, another part of my strategy was education. So I learned how to do it. And uh, like I learned internet marketing. Um, I learned, oh gosh, I, I spent a lot of money on courses and coaches and, you know, anything to learn what I needed to learn. Um, and then I really just acted as if. So <clears throat> I said, I want to become a travel blogger. What do travel bloggers do? They go around the world and they blog. So if I do that, <laughs> I will become a travel blogger. I think, you know, a lot of times people are like, how, 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 how they want, they want it to like be there before they actually do. But the doing is what really makes things happen. So I would say really getting your mindset right, uh, learning what you need to know, acting as if, and also having trust and faith in the universe or God or whatever you believe in, that they will give you what you need along the way. I love that. That's perfect. Yeah. That, I think that that is, that's the components that you need. I love it. Yeah. So Susie, what is one outrageous, what is the outrageous goal that you set for yourself that you've accomplished? Um, so, so far, uh, you know, I started day one. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And in one year I built a huge following, became a travel blogger and worked with Lyft, which is a billion dollar company. I don't know even how that happened, but I just went for it and uh, like, it's a crazy story, but they base, I dreamed this um, little project up and they loved it. And I was a no one. And like, it was pretty much the highlight of my life and gave me all the confidence I needed to just be signed on with something in my first year of that like caliber. So what was it that you did with Lyft? So <laughs> um, I was the first person and woman to road trip across the US, uh, making all my money lifting in the big cities along the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was amazing. But halfway through, somebody hit me. <laughs> I got in a car accident. So I never finished actually, but while it lasted, it was amazing. <laughs> so is it something that you're going to restart so you can finish the whole project? I, you know, I really, I really gave a lot of thought to that, but I don't think so because, you know, you know, when you think of this like amazing idea and you have all this momentum and, and all my people, my supporters, my followers, they were so excited. I just feel like I can't get that momentum back even for myself, like the excitement so I think it's, you know, it, I, I did half of it. It was amazing, but I think it's just better left what, that, you know, something didn't want me to finish. So that's okay. <laughs> but, but it would have been so amazing to say that I actually went across the whole country and did that. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. I did like four or five states. <laughs> 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 Do 
it was so fun. It was so cool. I love that. That is yeah. so cool. See how you can do anything. You just anything. anything. I like, literally, literally dreamt that up two years prior to becoming a travel blogger. I was reading an article and like something about road trips came up and and Uber or Lyft or something. And I was like, wouldn't it be so cool if someone made all their money and just like did their road trip across the US and they didn't even have to have any money saved. And that was two years before I didn't even know I was gonna be a travel blogger, uh, much less that I would do that or that Lyft would love that. So, <laughs> you know, it's like when you get those ideas, you must act. Hmm. I'm thinking of some things right now just for me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So what is, who is one person that you could say has helped you along the way? If there was one person you could pick. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, everyone, but <laughs> probably I'm just going to say my family in general, because mm -hmm. when I first started this, uh, there's a lot of sacrifice and my family really helped me by, uh, I lived with my sister for a year and a half, my sister and her family, her three kids. <laughs> so it was, it was crazy, but <clears throat> I lived with her to get it started. My parents um, own a restaurant and when I needed extra money, when I was making none, they let me pick up shifts um, for extra cash and you know, just, just supported me. And even when they probably thought I was freaking nuts, they were like, okay, you're going to do it, Susie. You're going to do it. I'm like, I'm going to do it. And my family supports me. And, you know, but I'm sure that they thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had left like my entire life. Like I was, I quit my jobs. I didn't even have income really, you know, and I was like, I know I can do this. So I would say my family. Love it. Love it. Just believing in yourself and having them believe in you. I love yes, it. Exactly. So um, if you could tell your 15 year old self anything, what would it be? Um, I like this one because uh, I think around 15 was when I started to lose who I really was. And, uh, you know, I would, if I could go back, I, I was always a little different. I always liked things that other kids didn't I mean, they, they weren't interested in. I was an entrepreneur since birth. My mom was the first one to, uh, she always liked to go to the flea markets on the weekends in the summers. And she would give me a percentage if I came with her and helped, you know, sell things. And I would just like ditch my life, ditch my friends and take off. And I'd be like, sorry guys, I didn't make that money. So <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know what I was spending it on. Really, that was probably when I was like 12 or something. So anyways, I always had this side to me that was just a little different, that wanted to do bigger things and just go big, like with everything I did always in my life. And um, if I could go back where, you know, society and other factors kind of like, you know, told me, no, you must do this in order to be successful and loved and whatever, I would go back and just tell her, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Don't listen to adults. Don't listen to authority type, you know, your, you, any kind of like authority. When you're a child, you think in order to succeed, you must do what they say or you're a kid, you have to be wrong. Like, how could you be right? You know, and so I, I would just tell her like, do, do whatever you want. Your dreams are meant for you, so whatever is in that little brain of yours, <laughs> go in that direction, not in a direction that doesn't interest you or bores you or, you know, any of, or don't worry, don't worry about the money factor because when you're doing what you love uh, and you believe that you can make money, you will make money. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what is your next big goal that you want to accomplish? Okay, so I take goals in <laughs> like shorter term. And honestly, the, the next goal I wanna, want is to go to Tony Robbins next month. <laughs> and, then, and, and as we all know, Tony Robbins is really expensive. So I am like literally, you know, beat to the pavement. Like I need to make that money and, and be there. So seriously, that is my goal. Like as of right now, my goal is Tony Robbins <laughs> next month. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, I get it. Yep. Um, so what is your favorite quote? Um, my favorite 
quote of all times is very simple. It's, uh, um, hold on, I wrote it down because I don't want to say it wrong. Dreams show up when you do. And it's my favorite quote because uh, it, the, 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 only, the only, only thing in your way from your dreams is this gap. And the gap is your excuses. The gap is your fear. The gap is your self-limiting beliefs, all these different things. And if you show up and confront those or sit down and have a nice talk with them or do whatever you need to do with these fears, your dreams show up real fast. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Show up, show up for yourself. Yeah. And if you don't, nobody else is going to, so. Nobody. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What is your must-read book, your life-changing book? Everybody has a life-changing book, in my opinion. I think so. I think so, too. Um, I think mine is, um, do you know Jen Sincero? Uh-huh. Okay. I think mine is You Are a Badass at Making Money. Is that what it's yeah. called? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it really uh, was the first time I realized that money isn't some separate entity that is scary and bad. Money is just a resource to be our best selves. And um, when I got that connection, all my kind of like limiting beliefs about money really shifted. I mean, I had to work on it for a good six months, but, but it was like... <laughs> It was like the, the, the catalyst into, oh, money's not bad. Money's not dangerous. You know, it doesn't make me a bad person to have it. And I can do a lot of good with it. So I would say everyone must read that book. Um, but I have another one too that I want to say. Um, uh, I don't know if you've read this, but it's Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so if, if, you're a badass at making money is kind of like the abstract thing to like uh, change your mind in how you make money and why you make money. That book is more tangible. It actually teaches you uh, how to get over your self-limiting beliefs by actually doing certain steps. And he explains why you would want to go back to the way you are, even down to like a cellular level. So I think the combination of here are all these like abstract things that you should do and why, and also like here are action steps to take is a good combination. So those are my two favorites. Okay. I'm going to be adding that to my list. I'm working through one right now. I should be done this week. I'll add that to next week's list. What's your, <laughs> I'm curious. Um, my favorite, my must read book is um, The Celestine Prophecy. I don't know. That, what that really? No. What is it's it? It's my life changing book. So I told you earlier that when we first were speaking that I went to Bali. So I had this life changing trip after Bali. I ended up in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And on the way to Thailand from Bali, this, I met this spiritual lady and she said, I told her my life story and she was like, you have to read the Celestine Prophecy. And I said, okay. You know, people tell you stuff all the time. Like, yeah, okay. So I got to my little place that I was staying. I was staying in a little condo and I was just like something, I just couldn't move. I was just like stayed in that condo. I just went out to eat and came back in and I was on Twitter and it said Jay-Z's top 10 books to read. And on that top 10 books to read was a Celestine Prophecy. And I was like, uh, <laughs> twice in like three days, I have to read this book. Yeah. So then they had an audio version on for free on YouTube. And yes. And I was just every day, 10 hours, it was 10 hours long. And I was in that house for two weeks reading the Celestine Prophecy and my life was changed. I was like, it, it's amazing. It so it's basically steps to, um, spiritual steps. You become more awakened. The energy, that energy really does exist. And if you like do certain methods and up level your life, that you're able to see these energy, it's passing between two people. So yeah. it's just, okay. I'm going to add that to my list because I am a big energy believer. Mind blowing. It, it's like, and then coincidences like that popping up on Twitter and sh that's a coincidence. So that's one of the steps of the energy. Yeah, it's just oh, me. Yeah. It's like, hello, read me. Yeah. 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 You're just eyes wide open. Once you read that, I, I have it on my bookshelf. I need to go read it again. <laughs> like, yeah. cause you forget some of the steps, but it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. <laughs> so my um, one more question is, what is one nugget that you would like to give to a future budding entrepreneur or somebody just not at your level yet? Um, I think that uh, uh, it's, it's cliche, but to truly believe that you can do whatever it is that you want to do, if you truly believe it, you will do it. And I think that I know back when I had less confidence um, before, you know, I made things happen and I was like, am I like, I would keep going back and forth and back and forth. I can do it. No, I can't. I can do it. No, I can't. You know, like it was like a daily occurrence. I felt like seriously mentally challenged. (laughs) And um, so what I would say is anything is possible. I am a, I am as regular as they come. I just, the only, the only difference is I have persistence. I have patience. And in my head, there's no other option than what my main goal, you know, to get to my main goal. So if it's going to take 20 years, I'm cool with it. If it's going to happen in two years, I'm cool with it. I don't care. I'm going to get there. And if you believe in with every ounce of your body, like it will happen. And you don't need to know how you don't need to, you just need to do and trust that the universe, God, whatever, whatever is out there will give you the resources and the opportunities along the way. I love it. I love it. Perfect. So Susie, how can we participate in your movement? What's your social? How can we get in contact with you? Um, so I'm on, do do you want me to tell you like what I'm on or? Yeah. What, what, anything you want to tell us? How do we get in contact? Well, I'm on Instagram, uh, at, um, Susie Travel, S-U-Z-I-E Travel. I'm on Facebook. I do a lot of uh, lives and give a lot of uh, self-developmental uh, inspiration there. Um, and that's Susie A Official. And you can find me at my website. It's SusieAgalopoulos.com. Uh, or you can go to my easier redirect, SusieTravel.com. <laughs> I'll take you right there. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So on the bottom of the page, if you guys scroll down, there's going to be a link for Susie has a gift for you guys. If you guys want to click that link and get in on what Susie has going on, that would be fabulous. Susie, thank you so much for talking to me today. Oh, thank you for having me. Yay. This is fabulous. Have a great one.